video will explain to you how best to use your new wheelchair. By learning about your new equipment, you will know how to operate it safely and keep it running well. When you get the chair, it might be packed in plastic. If it is, then remove all the packaging and be careful not to lose any parts or instructions. What you see in this video should be used in conjunction with the leaflets that you were given with the chair. You need to read all those leaflets before using the chair for the first time. The wheels come in different sizes with wire or plastic spokes and some have quick releases to make the chair lighter and smaller for transporting. The casters swivel as the chair is turned, making it easier to steer. Most wheelchairs have detachable armrests. These can be removed if you need to transfer sideways into or out of the chair or to sit at a table. You remove the armrests by pressing this lever at the front side of the chair and lifting the armrest out from its sockets. When you want to replace the armrest, you have to make sure it lines up with both of the sockets, front and back. You should make sure the lever always locks back into place. Different wheelchairs might have armrests that simply slide in and out of their sockets without anything to lock them. And some other models have a lever like the one you see here to release the armrest. You'll need to lock it again to keep the armrest secure. A tray can often be fitted to the armrests. These are provided to improve posture or to assist with feeding. Often a tray can be fitted by reversing the armrests and swapping them from one side to the other, as you can see here. If this isn't possible with your chair, then an extra bracket might be available. Or some trays just slide over the armrests. Most wheelchairs have a folding backrest, making it smaller for travelling or storage. Hinged backrests usually have two levers that are lifted at each side of the frame. When they're fully up, the backrest can fold at the hinge. To raise the backrest, simply lift until it's upright and check that the levers are fully into the locked position. There are parking brakes at both sides of the chair. They stop it from moving by securing the wheels. They must always be applied when getting into and out of the chair to prevent it from rolling as your body weight transfers. The brakes should also be used when folding the wheelchair, opening it or lifting it into a vehicle. Tyres are usually solid rubber but occasionally may be filled with air like on a bike. These should be inflated to the pressure written on them, so that the brake pads can work properly. Footrests turn up to make it easier to get into the wheelchair. If the chair has swing-away hangers, they should be swung away before getting into or out of the chair. It's important never to stand on the footrests, as this would cause your wheelchair to tip forwards. The distance from the seat to the footrests can be adjusted to fit you more comfortably. If you feel that you need adjustments to your footrests, then please contact your local wheelchair service for advice. You might also have heel loops fitted to the footrests. You should turn these to the back of the chair when the footrests are down. To remove the footrests altogether, push this lever and swing this part, which is called the foot plate, outwards, then lift it up. To put it back, line up its holes to the pins on the chair and swing it inwards. Always make sure to check that the lever locks back into place. Most wheelchairs have canvas seats and backrests. Cushions can be provided to give extra support and comfort. 
A lap belt is fitted for your safety and can be adjusted to fit you comfortably. Push handles have hand grips of moulded plastic or rubber, making it easy for a helper to operate your wheelchair. Every wheelchair has a unique ID number printed on a label like this. Your service provider's contact details will be on here if you need to ask any questions. For advice and support on repairs and maintenance, please get in touch with your local wheelchair service. Contact details are available from www.wheelchairmanagers.nhs.uk forward slash services.html.